hello hello beautiful people welcome back to my youtube channel if it's your first time watching you are so very welcome so today we're going to attempt a bridal makeup tutorial so stay with me okay <laughs> do not forget to subscribe kindly share your thoughts in the comment section down below i'll be reading all of them and if you have um, any videos any suggestions you have for me kindly do so in the comment section down below give it a thumbs up if you like it <laughs> and with no further ado let us go straight into the video okay so let us begin okay so i'm going to start off with the eyebrows and i'm going to use davis number 18. your wedding you want your eyebrows to appear as natural as possible so avoid dark shades on your nose so while filling in follow the natural pattern of your eyebrows and then do very light strands going up. So next I'm going to use um, eyebrow gel and then draw hair like strands on my eyebrows. This is a process that you don't have to do. I'm just going to show you a new routine that I find fascinating. Next I'm going to use um, concealer between the lines I drew just to give it a natural look. Next to line my brows, I'm going to use a legal pro concealer in the shade Fawn. And then uh, before I go any further, I'm just going to tell you guys when you're drawing the hair like strands, use like draw very very thin lines, very thin. And in between when you're using concealer, use very thin lines so as to appear more natural next i'm going to line my eyelids and i'm going to use the same illegal pro concealer in the shade phone i used before okay guys so for my wedding i would want my eye look to be very soft so i'm going for this color as my first transitioning shade I'm going to blend these two shades in to make my eye look um, as smooth as possible, the transition to be very very smooth. I'm going to start off with a brighter color around my inner corner because I want my whole look to be soft but my inner corner should be popping if you know what I mean. Let me introduce you guys to these two amazing shades from Morphe. Okay guys, just look at how beautiful this shade looks. I love it. Me personally, I love the shade. It applies very smoothly to the eyes. It looks natural, peachy in color, but very, very beautiful. So don't forget to blend in around the edges to just to make the whole look, you know, the whole transition to be smooth. Um, blend around the edges, just blend the whole eye look together. eyeliner for a wedding I wouldn't want I, you know it to be too long for my wing eye and then I'm going to apply it as uh, close to my natural lashes as possible then my lashes today are from golden lip they are not too dramatic but they are very visible when you put them on moisturizer I'm going to use true skin daily facial moisturizer my wedding I would want my skin to look as radiant as possible so I'm going to moisturize to the gods because I want my skin to look fresh and dewy so yeah so for your bridal invest in a very good primer because you don't want to, your pose to be seen on your wedding really so I am going to prime my face to the gods. I just want it to have a very smooth finish at the end. So, yeah.
The next I'm going to, uh, to go straight onto my foundation and I normally love um, <laughs> Maybelline Superstay foundation because it goes very well with my skin tone. It matches perfectly. So that is what I'm going to use today as well. Your wedding blend 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 make sure your skin is looking like your skin <laughs> don't make it cakey you just blend next I'm going to highlight and I'm using the same illegal pro conceal in the shade fauna and uh, remember the less the product the better don't put too much product especially for your wedding you don't want to look um, too plasticky you want to look as natural as possible so use little product the set i'm going to use a such a buttercup setting powder and then I'm going to just set I'm not going to bake because I don't want to appear so powdery. I just want my skin to look mattified but not too powdery, if that makes sense. And so I'm going to use illegal finishing powder. And I'm going to start off by contouring uh, the areas around my cheekbones because I want a uh, to appear like I have a structure on my face although my face is as uh, circular as a ball be very careful while contouring your nose don't use a very dark shade and after blend it in going down make sure it is all blended in next I'm going to um, use a black eye gel to line my waterline and I'm going to smoke that out using the first positioning shade I used on my eyeshadow. And then next I'm going to warm up my contour using, um, this is supposed to be a blush but I'm going to use it as a bronzer. And next I'm going to set using NYX matte finish spray and I'm going to use a very generous amount. To highlight today I'm going to use a Fenty Beauty highlighter in uh, Hustler Baby because I want to glow to the gods today. So for my wedding I would want to do a nude lip and I'm going to start off with uh, Joanna K Cosmetics in the shade uh, Fearless before I do the nude. I mix it with the nude, sorry. Ever since I discovered this lipstick, <laughs> you wait and see. So just look at how beautiful that nude lipstick is. It is from Golden Lip, but very, very beautiful. I love it. So I will apply that and then just blend it in all together. You can leave the lipstick matte, but I, as I said earlier, for me, on my wedding, I want to glow. So I'm going to use a Fenty Beauty lip gloss on top. So for my wedding, I want to appear young, vibrant, and glowing to the gods, and hopefully that is the look I achieved. And that would be it from me today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something. I hope you love this look. And I'll be seeing you in my next video. Kindly subscribe if you've not yet subscribed. And uh, bye!